done. Oh, why do they think they have to give us homework over the weekend anyways? We're already here for five days a week. And we already get homework all those five days a week. Why can't you just on Friday say, here's the work, that's all you have to do, and then you're done for the day. No homework over the weekend or anything. You won't even let us have fun or have a social life or anything. I mean, I don't have that much of a social life. But still, I don't want to have to sit there and do homework. I hardly have time for it anyways. With my father needing me all weekend and trying to do homework on top of that isn't easy. I mean, I know they don't care about what we do on our weekends, but I hardly have time to do it. Usually about Sunday night or even Monday morning, I have to get up hours early to be able to do some of my homework because I don't have time. I hate this stupid school. Anyways, I'm done with homework. I'm going to look at the times that I have for my power of the pen things. If they are on weekends, I'm going to have to find a way to sneak away from my parents. At least my father, because if he finds out, I'm going to be dead. So I'm going to have to sneak away if these are even on weekends. So let's get this out of the way and let's see. Okay, so it's not this Saturday, but it's next Saturday. They want everyone to be there by 1.30. They want us to read the last chapter of the book that we did. We only had to do a few chapters, but they want us to read the last chapter. They're only going to read the first few, and then they're going to want us to read the last chapter to them. So, okay, got that. And then we're going to have to sit there for an hour while everybody else does it. So probably till about 2.30. And then they're going to give everybody a little, like, talk about what's going to happen. And then they're going to either text you, call you, or maybe send somebody to the school to tell each one of you to come down and... See if you made it or not, because some people don't have a cell phone, so they're going to do that for the people that don't. But I don't know which one they're going to do. They're probably going to tell us, like, which one they're going to do, maybe. But, yeah, and then they have ones for the state competition, the country competition, because right now it's school competition. Then there's going to be a state one. Then there's going to be a country one. And I think that's the entire thing, I'm pretty sure, I think. So, yeah. I know this is going to be a very hard competition. If I don't win, it's alright. I'm not going to be too upset, but I really do need this scholarship. It's the only way I'm going to be able to become an author because my father ain't going to give me the money for it and nobody is. I'm going to have to, like, work very hard to get the money if I don't get this scholarship. I mean, there's probably other people out there that are well-deserving of this scholarship than I am because I'm not that good at writing. I mean, other people's stories for this are probably, like, amazing and heartfelt and everything else. And my story really isn't that interesting, but I'll read it anyways. I just hope I can sneak away without my father finding out. <sighs> Wait. That's why it seems so strange this morning. Amaya isn't here. Amaya is usually here with Lauren, but Lauren isn't... Here with her. So that probably means that Amaya's not here today. Because usually when Amaya is here, her and Lauren stand by the lockers talking. And then I stand back here looking at Amaya. Probably like a very big creep, but you know, because I can't go up and talk to her. <sighs> that probably means that Lauren's in the library today because when Amaya isn't here... Lauren will go and help the librarian.
She usually does that because a librarian usually needs help. And Lauren only really does that when Amaya isn't here. I really need to find a way to talk to her. I mean, I just, I can't go up to her and be like, Hello, my name is Salem and I watch you from afar. No, because that would be very creepy. No person has ever said, Hello, my name is whatever and I watch you from afar. Because I don't know how to talk to people. Definitely not. I just want to say something to her. I don't know exactly what. And I don't know which one I want to be with. Since I don't have anything to write about because I don't have my notebook or my story anymore until I can get it back. I don't have anything to do. I have so much to think about. Now I have to think if I want to be with Viper or Maya. There's no one in the world that has two crushes like I do. There is nobody in the world that's like, oh, I don't know who I want to be with because I have crushes on two people and don't now have a and don't have a clue which one I want to be with. I have to be the only one in the world that has two crushes and doesn't know which one I want to be with more. I'm probably insane. There is no one out there that has two crushes and can't figure out which one they want to be with more. I mean, Viper I can talk to. I can, like, you know, console him and he can help me with issues that I have. But I can't go up and tell him that I like him because that's weird. That's the only thing I can't say to him and Maya I can't even go and talk to. Well, I can't talk to her because there's Lauren there, and then there's Kane there, and Kane will get in my business, and I don't want him in my business anymore. Because he'll be telling me, stay away from my girlfriend, she belongs to me, when she literally doesn't belong to him at all. Wait, maybe I can do like they do in the movies, where they take notes and they write things and they put them in people's locker and they like meet up with them and they have like a whole like conversation every few days or however long and then eventually they can become friends or lovers or something I don't know maybe I can do that just to see how a mile will react around me see if she even feels the same way or not I think that would be a better idea than doing what I'm currently doing, which is just staring at her from afar. Maybe I can do that. And also, Lauren won't be, like, Lauren wouldn't know unless Amaya tells her, which I don't know if she will. And Kane won't know because Kane won't figure out where Amaya is going. And Kane will have to interfere with me. Because you won't see me do this. Maybe that's a better idea. I don't know. Well, I have a few months to decide this until junior year ends. I really hope I can get this done. Amaya, I really need to see which one I want to be with. You or Viper. It's gonna be so difficult. Also because Kane's here, he's my only factor in getting a Maya. Uh. Well, speak of the devil, and he appears. Kane and Kane's little gremlin, what do you both want now? Listen here, you little misfit. Leave? My older brother alone. Stop talking to him and stop trying to be friends with him. He doesn't want to be friends with some low life like you. You are a loner. That is what you're supposed to be. Leave my older brother alone. He's done nothing to you, Salem. You are a bad person and he does not need to be around a bad influence like you. You're going to get him in some trouble and then I'm going to have to try to get him out of it. And also, stop trying to daydream about Amaya. You're not getting her from me. I will do everything in my power to have Amaya be with me. So you can just cry in a little corner thinking about Amaya being yours and also thinking that you're going to have my brother as your friend because that's not happening. 
Sorry, but no. Kane, what the heck are you talking about? Who the heck is your brother? I hardly talk to very many people anyways. If you're going to come up to me and say something, at least make it make sense instead of spewing crap that you don't know about. Also, as if Amaya is going to be with you. She doesn't seem like she's interested in you. Amaya is her own person. She can be with whoever she wants. And by the way, she doesn't look like she even wants to be with you. Who would want to be with a jerk like you? And also, why is he following you? Does he have to be your little gremlin? Is he your little puppy that has to follow you all around because he can't go anywhere else by himself? Does he go to the bathroom with you too because he can't be separated from you? Shut up, Salem. Do not bring Raze into this. He has nothing to do with this. This is you and me and my brother and Amaya. Stay away from my brother. My brother is Knox. He does not need to be around you. You are a horrible person and you're going to get him in some crap that he can't get out of. And by the way, I am not a jerk. I am very nice and Amaya will love to be with me instead of you. Because who would want to be with you? No one. Wait, so you're telling me that Knox is your brother? For your information, all I did was go to a bookstore to pick up a book, and Knox was picking up the same book I was, and also I went to the store that he works at, and he decided it would be a nice idea to talk to me. I wasn't going to talk to him at first because I didn't know who he was, but he decided to be nice to me and I decided to hang out with him. He was the one that invited me. I wasn't the one that invited him, but I took the invite because I had nothing else better to do. The last time I checked, Knox was his own person and he looks a lot older than you, so he probably is your older brother, as you've just stated. And... He's his own person, and he can do whatever he wants. Unless you're your brother's protector and keeper, then I'm sorry, but the last time I checked, I think Knox is his own person, and he can make his own decisions of who he wants to be friends with and who he doesn't. If he doesn't want to be friends with me, that's his own thing. But if he wants to be friends with me, and, he, and we're not friends with each other, you and me are definitely not friends with each other, I wouldn't be friends with you if you're the last man on earth. But if Knox wants to be friends with me, then that's his own choice. You're not your brother's keeper. And again, Amaya does not want to be in a relationship with a jerk like you. Nobody would want to be in a relationship with you, Kane. You can't even be nice to somebody. If you had to be nice for a day, your head would explode. You take that back. That is it, Salem. The next time I see you with my brother, or if I hear that you have been around my brother, you're dead, Salem. Stay away from my brother. Stay away from Amaya. Nobody wants to be friends with you. Nobody likes you and your stupid crap. I'm done. Bye. And don't think you're getting Amaya from me because she doesn't want you. She will always want me. And stay away from my brother too. If you don't, you're dead the next time I see you. Come on. Yeah, up, uh, wait up. Ow. 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 Mm. Ow. Kane is so dead. Kane, you are dead. I can do whatever I want. Ow. I'm going to class because it's going to take me a while to get there. Ow. I don't need the nurse. I'm fine. I'll be fine. I can deal with my myself. I'll be fine. Ow. 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 
all right. You're all right, Salem. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Ow. Ow. And hour later, where Rain is. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Got it. <sighs> and done. Just got tomorrow, and then I got the weekend. Thank God. Oh, that was a lot to do today, but just tomorrow and then the weekend, yes. Won't have anything else to do. Great. Hey, are you rain by any chance?